All right, so uh, today, um, not Gundam, <laughs> I want to go ahead and review these. They just came in the mail. Um, I just beat Final Fantasy VII Remake. It was amazing. I wanted something in my house to kind of commemorate it. So I found these, uh, they're called Trading Arts. I think they're just standalone figures of the main protagonist of the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, it's just a box that includes all five of them, hopefully. <laughs> if it's blind box and it's not these exact five, I'm gonna be pretty upset. Uh, so all I've done so far is I cut the little lines here. So figure we'll see what's inside. Oh, also here's this end as well. There's nothing on the bottom and there's not really anything of interest on the other side. So we'll see what we got here. Ugh. So, all right, new waters for both of us. So we have five in here. I'm gonna go ahead and take them all out. Boop, boop, and go ahead and put the box to the side. Okay, so each box is in fact a blind box. You really have no idea which one's in each one. So just to prove it, they are all identical. Identical, identical. I think you're kind of getting the theme here. And I messed around with my camera a little bit to try and make sure this is non-blurry as possible. There's some focusing issues when you work on really small things like this. And uh, I don't want to set up like a digital camera because I'm lazy. So we're doing this webcam style. All right. So let's hope these things are as cool as they look in the pictures. So we have a ton of plastic. A metric ton of plastic. Holy crap. All right. Pack a knife. Just gonna put all my trash in the box. I'm not gonna. Okay, so we got Sephiroth right off the bat. Oh, so they did it like this. Okay, so let's just uh, take a look real quick. Boom. Here's his beautiful, long, flowing locks. Now, this is about the quality I expected. Uh, I don't think my camera's gonna focus because I disabled it, so, okay. Well, yeah, this is about the quality I expected. It's not bad quality by any means. It's uh, pretty decent. The face is, it's kind of what you get whenever you do um, any kind of model that's this small. Any of these like, what is it, three, four inches? You get a. Uh, you, you lose some detail. Uh, it's pretty much just how it is. <laughs> There's not really a workaround. All right, let's put his wrist in. Come on, you can do it. Oh, does it have to be perfect? Yes, it has to be perfect. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to trying to see how this goes. Come on, you can do it. There we go. It's uh, very tight fittings. So basically the war of me making sure I'm doing this right without actually breaking it. Boom, Sephiroth is done. It also comes with, well, that's just cardboard. I'm gonna rip it out just to see if it has anything. I think it's just a placeholder, so you can't. Yeah, this is just a placeholder. And this is a bunch of now oh, instructions, which I don't need. Okay, so Sephiroth is done. Next, don't be Sephiroth again. Come on, you got to be five different ones. That's the whole point. Oh, that's definitely different. It's Airy, Airy, Airy. Also be careful with knives. Oh, what is this? I don't I have no idea what that is. All right, so it looks like she's pretty much identical, but with her right hand instead of left. Pop her out. 
Or stand. Oh, I see. So the card is to keep the weapons from bending. And I'm just going to look at this real quick because I want to see what this rubber stamp thing's for. It is for nothing. Oh, I bet it's just extra weight. So you don't know which box is which. Okay, so this time it's her right hand. It's at a left, for like his. Oh god, her hands are so thin. Oh, this makes me nervous. Oh, that's so thin. Okay, we can do this. Is it like this way? Let's look at the picture. Boop. It says it should be like this. It's really hard to tell. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to tell. Okay, you know what? I'm actually not going to break her. So we'll figure that out later. The problem is her wrists are so incredibly thin that I feel like I'm going to break it trying to put it in there. So. I mean, I guess it means that she'll never, ever fall out, but holy crap. So I guess to give you an, uh, an idea on how thin her wrist is, like, <laughs> it is like so thin and uh, the hole's even thinner. I don't want to break it. So we'll just leave it out for now. She looks good though. Uh, she doesn't stay on her stand very good. That's definitely a problem. But her dress looks nice. There looks to be some texture. The red on her coat looks more leather-like. So I, I, that's good. I'm impressed with the detail for these. I think this this set was like 25 bucks or 30 bucks. So uh, typical blind box prices, right? All right, next up, Barrett. I can tell right away because he's gigantic in comparison. If you played the game, you know Barrett is a big boy. I'm running out of space here. I'm gonna chuck these to the side. Oh, even his Gatling gun doesn't connect? I, uh, there doesn't even need to be a reason for that. I think they're just trying to make them all kind of similar. We have to put them together. Anyway, oh, I, I, I love his coloring. He looks really good. His uh, flesh tone looks really flesh. His uh, green pants are like a super dark green. And the rest is junk. He should be much easier to put together. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's really a, a wrong way to insert this. Okay, there we go. It's got a machine gun for a hand. Uh, he definitely has some mess up paint on his boots. The black border climbs up real high. It's pretty obvious. And he is his legs are not the right position for this stand. Here we go. Barrett looks... His tattoo looks really sharp. He looks... I, like, I think he looks great. The sunglasses hide up the biggest issue, which is that their eyes aren't very lifelike since they're so small. But I think he looks awesome. Alright, so the fact that there's no duplicates tells me that these are all unique. So we have Tifa and Cloud. And if you are going to ask, I always pick Tifa. Because, I don't know, it's cool. Oh, so. Another dead rubber. Okay, here we go. Let's get his little body out. His Man, his clothes are really dark. With the black on blue, man. I mean, the detail's there, 
But you probably can't even see it because the black on dark blue is a lot. It really kind of hides it. That's a shame. Uh, those silver right there is not supposed to be there, right? Is it? I guess on this design it is. I don't recall that. It's on both sides, so maybe I'm wrong. All right, his head fits comfortably. His hair looks just like it does in the new game, which is where they kind of like tone down the spikiness a little bit. Not a lot, of course. He's still pretty, pretty damn spiky. Uh, it looks like a circular peg, so it should be able to go in any direction. Uh, his wrist is a little thicker, but not by much. Ugh, man, these wrists are brutal. I would have much preferred you just slide the handle of the weapon down. Oh, so he's got a peg right here because it's supposed to go into his back and then and then drop down. Okay, well, that makes his a little easier to angle. So peg goes into his back and then wrist drops into the wrist hole. Come on, you can do it. I believe in me. I need you guys to cheer along. Believe in me. Oh my gosh, it is. Okay, that's real tough. So I'm going to knock down points for that again because if you assemble something and it feels like you're breaking it, that's not a good sign. That doesn't make me feel like I'm doing a good job. So we're just going to leave his... Also his neck like fell. Okay, he had an extended neck. Uh, here, let me pull these down so you can see him. So, boom, boom, boom. Last one. My main girl, Tifa herself. Rough, tough fighter. Who is a blast to play in the new game. Oh, she's so cool. With her, her combos and stuff. And I love that they gave her Omni Strike, which is supposed to be Cloud's last ability. And she doesn't have a weapon, so I imagine hers is going to be... Yeah, it's just a stand in her. Because she don't need no weapon. Okay, there we go. Alright. And she looks phenomenal. You can tell her eyes are red. Her armor looks okay. She's got the stockings. A little bit of paint issues on the lines. Oh, I think she looks awesome. I think she's probably one of the better ones. Maybe a little less detail due to her design, but I like that about her. It makes her seem more normal. Although I will say that I have no idea what temperature it is in the Final Fantasy world because she's got like a belly shirt and a skirt and he's got all leather with a trench coat. Like what temperature is it where this guy needs a vest? All right. So that's all of them. I am... So minus points because of those two wrists, but I think they look really sharp and they're definitely worth the price. Uh, they will be a nice little display thing and give my home a little bit of Final Fantasy feel. Put my knife away so I don't cut myself. And so yeah, this line, um, I got this in Hobby Link Japan. Uh, it's a Final Fantasy remake trading arts is what they're called. And I believe they are going to come out with a second line, which will probably have the next batch of characters. So that's going to be Red 13. Um, was it Yuffie, uh, Sid, Vincent? I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. Oh, uh, Kate Seth. So that'll probably, yeah, that's five, right? So that'll probably be the next line is those five. And those will be five and five. So anyway, I think they're awesome. And uh, check them out. And I'm done. See you guys later.